Hey everyone, I'm BVG Hill, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 3. Here we are. We're doing it. I thought maybe to start this episode off, since I haven't really showed the character sheet for Shepard in a long time, just in case there's anyone out there, I was just thinking, you know what? Maybe someone wants to see that. So, here it is. Say hello to Shepard. She's got almost 900 health, 900 shields, full paragon, a little renegade. Almost everything's maxed out, level 51. Um, but yeah, that was just in case one of you out there watching wanted to see that. Um, but this episode, what do we want to do? We could do the N7 fuel reactors mission maybe this episode? I don't know. Let's check the emails first. Maybe there's something important. Alliance Command. Uh, personally petitioned me for help on Dakuna. Fine. Batarians have proposed an attack on Kamala, one of their main worlds. Right? You guys can read this if you want, but I'm just gonna very, very, very much so skim read. With the review, I met an old friend who was helping all colonists with logistics. Through this, maybe a perfect uh, next trip. Researching the dynamics of human relationships. While doing so, I have discovered there is a 98.52% probability that you and Dr. Tassoni recently entered into a more committed phase of your relationship. Oh, ho, ho, she knows. I believe that means I should congratulate you. Congratulations. However, I do have a question. My research indicates that it is often appropriate to commemorate milestones in romantic relationships by offering a gift. Directing my inquiry to Geft has proved to Jeff. Geft? The Gazette. That has proved unhelpful. He has recommended that I requisition an upcoming issue of Fornax featuring a sorry hair tentacles. This seems inappropriate. I suspect he was making a joke. Further analysis of relationship data suggests a photo would be an appropriate gift. The view from the Presidium is notably picturesque. Therefore, I have mined Citadel security feeds for an image of Liara during your recent date. Sources advise a suitable location for the photo is on your bedside table. You will find it there on your next visit to the cabin. I hope I have not overstepped the bounds of our friendship, Shepard. If so, please alert me and I will adjust my programming according accordingly. Wow. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Okay, looks like we need to check the crew. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, we have a lot of shit. Um... Crew manifest. Crew manifest. Do we have anything on the Spectre Ferns? Baba. Authorize this. Crew manifest. Oh no, we don't want that. Crap, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Go back. Crew manifest. There we go. That's what we want. Captain. I want to change the captain. I don't want to be the, ch the captain anymore. Medical team. We have no one on the medical team? What the heck? No Ellis. I put her on the medical team, I think. Didn't I? Yeah, I put you on the medical recruit. Welcome aboard. Let's go back down. She gives me a little boost to weapon damage and stuff. Who else do we have? For engineering. Improves performance of Helios thruster module. Improves performance of Argus planetary scanner. Zarawen vas alskur. Improves performance of Armax ship defense system. Improves performance of Armax ship defense system. Improves performance of Argus planetary scanner. Kind of feel like having another Quarian on board would be pretty cool. Zarawen vas alskur. Sure. Back down to the bottom. Another engineering. Sure, why not? Let's just fill it up with with Quarians. I'm all, I'm all about it, all right? All right, that's good, that's done. We don't need any more of this, this episode. Uh, let's just hop in here and let's head to that um, fuel reactors one. Leave orbit, let's go. Let's get some shit done here. We still need to do the DLC too. I, I'm completely forgetting about that. Uh, fuel reactors, extraction of Dekuna. We could do those two since we're here, right? Uh, let's run to Dakuna real quick. 
I feel like that could might be a good idea. Don't need any fuel. Rogue fighter pilot. What? Good God. There's so much stuff going on. It's it's overwhelming. Oh. See you later. Invasion successful. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's a thing. I guess we're doing this first. <laughs> Just like, uh, nope, turn around and left. Well, you'll have that sometimes, am I right? Okay, so this garden world claims to military fame is its oh my god my my voice this garden world's claim to military fame is is that it was assaulted repeatedly during the krogan rebellions but never occupied by more than token forces the asari cut off the krogan supply line at the citadel relay and drove the invaders out today anti-matter generators are on the surface and in orbital stations provide fuel for military starships throughout Asari space. The matriarchs defending the planet today have w vowed to maintain Sion's legacy. They pledged it will fall to no enemy, organic or synthetic. 260 million people. Alright, we're heading down to Sion to save some fuel stuff. Uh -oh. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Aye, aye, Captain. On site doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good, hack it out. Commander. Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. Your mouth is not moving, sir. Why is your mouth not moving? Uh, incendiary ammo. Creepy music. Ooh. How long have you served in this outfit, Corporal? Ooh. Three tours. Been through thick and thicker. The captain always sees us through. Well, good for the captain, then. Am I right? Ooh. Free stuff. See, this is why I always try to travel up the beaten path in these levels as much as possible, because you never know when you're just going to find some some free shit to make your weapons better and your life better in turn. Though not, you know, a huge much better. Huge, m large we words. Work around, a large amount better. Right, Captain Riley? That's some bulky ass armor. Ma'am. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Oh. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Right. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Good work, Coslo. Right. I'll take it from here. Okay, so we need to go that way. We're facing an unknown enemy here, Captain. If they're still on sight, my team will help send them to hell. <laughs> what are you doing? Why'd you need to jump that fence? You parkour skills, whatever. We're moving on. I forgot to. Reactor two, Captain. Got it. We'll cover you till you're clear. Forgot to change Caden's loadout. Oh, hello. Salvage. I always love me some salvage. Oh, that looks rather poisonous and not nice. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, I can actually see Garrus. Team two, moving out, Commander. Good luck, Captain. Yep, you do your there thing. Are Torian station here now. Nothing. Um. I'm feeling an ambush. Just stay sharp, people. Are you feeling an ambush? Should I? Am I supposed to be like? Taking this back. Directional guidance error. Ah, right, yes, I am. Okay, right. Sorry about that, guys. Pick it up. Move it this way. And now we should be able to go down there. Yeah. Progress. Right. I'll try to take care of that. Don't, don't you worry. Your pretty little face about it. 
ma'am. Like do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Let's unlock those fuel rods. Let's do it. Do it. Just do it. Oh, that a bad. Oh, it's just money, no story. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want story anyways. Stories for suckers. Right? Defensive positions. Enemy inbound. Oh. Indeed. Really? Who's shooting me? I'm getting shot from this direction. Hold on. I'm going to switch to... SMG for this. feel like it just makes more sense. Given the situation here. That we find ourselves in. I don't want to be using my, like, killer, amazing super gun on... You know, some bullshit, right? Yeah! Dropping like flies, baby! Don't want to use my super gun on husks, is basically what I'm saying. Okay, which way are we going here? Right? Do that how? Alright, let me go get ammo here. I'll save the big boy guns for... Where am I going? Got it! One tank sealed. Is there gonna be more enemies? No. Maybe? No. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, here we go. Last one, I guess, according to what she said. Hello? Where are we going here? Oh, over here. Right. Okay. Done. Initiating restart. Commander, Captain, <clears throat> I'm reading a lot of movement. Headed your way. Incoming! Jump in this. We've got company too, Commander. Oh, indeed we do. Hello? Getting rid of that. For sure. Where is that other generator? You can't be having this shit. Just no. Oh. Okay, there's like so many of those generators. No, behind cover, please. There we go. Your cover's not that great, dude. You're sticking out like a sore thumb when you went back in. Oh boy. Garrus, I swear if that husk kills you. We can't be friends anymore. Why are there so many goddamn husks? How did you get over here? Oh, you just hopping around like some kind of maniac. Some kind of maniac. Well, I'm gonna let you guys take care of that, alright? I feel like you've got that covered. Oh, oh, oh. Don't roll behind cover. You don't want to do that. The cover's for people like me. Oh, shit. Not sure where I was going with that statement. Fucking marauders, mate. Yeah. 
Come on. Come on! No. No. We're fine. I'm sending help. Um. Caden, go help. Mm hmm. I was taking a drink. You can't throw that at me. All right, here's the deal. Adrenaline rush. Oh, shit, snack. Roll out of the way, you freaking idiot. Jesus. Run, please. Oh my god. What? Oh, wait, where? What? He's dead. I thought Garrus got murdered. Did he not? You're clear for the moment, Commander. Can't raise Captain Riley. Alright. Because I'm Kate? just crossing. Garrus, how did you get over there? The restart, then we can rendezvous there. Will do. The restart? Oh my god, why does it have to be so difficult to start this thing? Good god. I need ammo though. Let me go to this real quick. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> restart is complete. Done! We did it. Good job, everyone. Couldn't have done this without your support. I guess we're sprinting. Duh. We did it, everyone. But yeah, you pretty much you have to send someone there, or all these guys die. Guys are a bunch of wusses. Look at Caden, he's perfectly fine. With his shields up and everything. Commander, his barriers. Oh. My team is in your debt. Damn straight they are. Thank Major Alenko. Just doing my job. Well, I mean you could take the compliment too, buddy. Come on. Let's get to the Normandy. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. Job well done indeed, folks. Good work down there, Shepard. You got it. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Riley's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. That was a I'll little keep weird. I'll posted on new developments. Hack it out. She, like, phased a little bit there. <laughs> All right, ten grand. It's the shit I do like. Alright, let's go back to the galaxy map and maybe after completing a mission of some sort we'll be able to actually go to Dekuna's system to extract those Elcor without uh, getting assailed. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Adams? Oh, come on, mate. What do you want from me? Sorry, I'm slowly sipping on a monster as I'm playing. I'm doing this first thing after getting you up. Do feel awkward being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. Valid point. Adams, what do you need, bro? Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. Didn't I already do this? I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Ms. Dan I already did this. Epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and I literally already did this. Improvements to our capacitors. Didn't I? I swear I already did that. I'm like 99% sure. Which is pretty damn sure. Uh, that's just him being like, you're not prepared. We're only at about 50% readiness. 
Because that's what Commander Hackett, or Admiral Hackett sounds like, guys. Have you been listening? Alright. Dekuna. Please don't have Reapers after me still. Oh, perfect. Perfect. We're fine. Oh, shit. Um. We got problems, folks. There's, got, there's something on their moon that I have to get as well. Okay, hurry up. Close scanner. We gotta hit Dakuna. Can we do this? Can we do this? Good God, I hope so. Okay, guys. Get ready for light speed. Ah! I outrun them now because of upgrades. Woo. That was close. I did it, right? I'm pretty sure I did it. Did I do it? Before I jump out of this system, did I do it? I'm almost positive I did this. Did I not? Oh, son of a bitch. There's people that want to meet me on the Citadel again. God damn it. <laughs> Miranda wants to meet us. The assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We've focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Turian fleet, while the Geth harass the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seems foolish to risk an incident by putting our forces in closer proximity. I understand from Admiral Zen that the Crucible Project continues well, though Zen herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she is also brilliant. Hopefully she'll find some way to improve its functionality. I would never have believed you would talk on down, Commander. Shepard, I've been working on something I'd like to show you. Can we meet in your quarters when you have a moment? I guess. But we're going to have to end that episode there. But it's like, some of these conversations are very, very much so uh, locked to deadlines. And if you get to a certain point in the story they just disappear and become unavailable, especially the Miranda conversation stuff. It'll disappear after a certain point. So you almost are obligated to do them when they pop up. But I don't want to do them without having enough to do a whole nother talking time. And I also don't want to have enough for a whole talking time like every other episode. Because it takes so long. I mean, I love it personally, but I feel like it's really bad for the series. <laughs> Uh, but we'll see next time. I don't know. But anyways, guys, we're all out of time for this. So as usual, thank you all very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button that's also down below for more content from me. And feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last but most certainly not least, if this video just blew you up. So most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you meet on the street or the internet, whatever floats your boat, and I will see all of you in the next one. See you later.